Well, that puts a wrap on the 2023 NHL season. Hi, I'm Dan Kingersky for the National Hockey Now Network and Vegas Hockey Now. What a privilege it has been to cover uh, the Vegas Gold Knights over the last couple of months. This incredible Stanley Cup run, you could feel it. I, I, drew, I raised some eyebrows back in early May when I said this was coming. You could see it, you could feel it. Talked to a couple of the players tonight and they sheepishly admitted they could feel something building. Look, let's, uh, you don't need a big diagram of X's and O's on a night like tonight. You can probably see the Stanley Cup somewhere uh, just back, like a weatherman, just back there where everyone is taking pictures. Listen, when that momentum begins, the depth of the Golden Knights, all four lines, and each line played a unique role at different times of this playoff run. Of course, you had uh, Nick Waugh, William Carlson, and really the bottom six squelching the Edmonton Oilers. If they don't do that, if they don't limit Connor McDavid to just three points in round two, I promise you that series goes the other direction. Then you have everybody, you have your top guns firing in the Western Conference Final. You've got Jonathan Marcheseau reels off 10 goals in nine games. Actually, I think he might have hit 11 in 10. You've got Jack Eichel really asserting himself by the Western Conference Final. And by the end of that Edmonton series to the beginning of the Dallas series, uh, I'll just call him this, the new misfit. Add him to the group. Aiden Hill had hit his stride and was playing brilliant hockey by the beginning of the Western Conference Final. And you put all of that together, not to downplay. Let's not overlook the job that Bruce Cassidy did with this team. He had a big defense. In fact, I don't know if they are the biggest in the NHL because Toronto and a couple other teams had, you know, five and six guys, six feet and 200 pounds and above as well. But the big defense of the Vegas Golden Knights and Cassidy designed the system to keep them near the net. By doing so, he kept the, uh, the eyes clear of all four goaltenders this season. You talk about Aiden Hill and Laurent Brassad and Logan Thompson. And these guys who are not household names are necessarily top flight starting goalies. So a scout defense taking care of rebounds making sure they see shots, making sure there's not too much traffic. That changes the complexion of the team remarkably. So huge credit to Cassidy. And I'll also tell you another thing about uh, Butch Cassidy and how well he managed the mental game of the Vegas Golden Knights. He kept everybody on the right page. He kept it simple and ultimately he allowed that group to grow together. Bill Foley told Vegas Hockey Now they had some problems in the locker room in years past. They fixed it this year, he said. We had a perfect locker room. Of course, um, he declined to make another what he called uh, asinine prediction. Six years ago, November 2016, he predicted in six years they'd win the Stanley Cup, and here we are six years uh, down the road. And that Stanley Cup is here in T-Mobile. Uh, Vegas Hockey Now and, and Vegas Golden Knights fans and those who have kind of around the league gathered around this team. It has been an honor to, to cover this team for you over the last uh, couple or, or a few months. It, it's really been a joy and I'm in love with uh, this fan base, this city, and, and I've appreciated the interactions with all of you. We've taken Vegas Hockey Now to just extraordinary heights and that's because of you so thank you the Stanley Cup we've got tons of exclusive pictures and interviews and and there's so much to get to we'll be doing it for days keep checking back VegasHockeyNow.com I'm Dan Kinkerski of the Hockey Now Network